We hope you're having a fantastic week. Uh, we have received a number of phone calls uh, over the last several weeks from doctors concerned uh, uh, about getting a request for records uh, from Change Healthcare on behalf of Blue Cross Blue Shield. Uh, so we've answered a number of these questions and we thought it might help uh, if we could give you kind of a, a, a quick video explanation as to what is happening with those particular audits. Now, um, whenever you get any kind of records request from an insurance company, we always encourage you read read it all, uh, make sure that you fully understand it. Uh, but first of all, these particular records requests are coming uh, from a company called Change Healthcare uh, that has been hired by Blue Cross Blue Shield of Illinois uh, to perform the audits that are required by the federal government, um, such as risk adjustment audits and several other uh, names that go along with those. In those cases, it is important to understand uh, that actually those audits are not audits of you, but instead um, are the government's way of ensuring that the, the, the information that's being reported globally by Blue Cross Blue Shield to them uh, for their risk pools that they're insuring uh, to ensure that those numbers and that information is fully accurate. So they hire an independent third party, in this case Change Healthcare, to do these audits to ensure uh, that all of their numbers being reported are are accurate. So please know uh, that when you get these, uh, that it is not an audit of you and it's it's not one to lose sleep over or to call your attorney or malpractice carrier or, or um, anything along those lines. But here's how you know. When you look over the paperwork, you'll see one of four different typical titles um, that are listed in that information. One is it'll say a risk adjustment audit or a risk adjustment uh, or it could be a risk risk adjustment data validation and the last one you may see is one that is called a health uh, healthcare effectiveness data and information set measures or HEDIS measures and you've heard us talk uh, recently in several different uh, lectures talk about HEDIS measures and their importance uh, but know that uh, uh, that those particular audits are different. They're not auditing you as a provider. Now, uh, if you as a provider have done something grossly in error, of course, uh, that would come out in those audits and those could get reported to a different organization with inside or different department inside of Blue Cross Blue Shield. Um, and if you do get an audit request from the Special Investigations Division, that is not a risk adjustment audit, and that's one uh, to, to, uh, to take more seriously and potentially um, make the appropriate phone calls. But in this case, uh, these are ones that you do need to heed. Now, it's important. You do have to follow through, and you do have to provide these records. Uh, we recommend uh, um, two major things. One, get that request in writing. Uh, typically, when they send the request, they also send information regarding their authority to be able to request those on behalf of Blue Cross Blue Shield. When I say they, talking about uh, uh, change healthcare. Um, second is, uh, so the first thing is make sure that it is in writing. Don't accept any kind of phone call claiming to be change healthcare. Uh, if they do call you, say, just request that they, that they put it in writing along with uh, clear uh, information that demonstrates their authority to be able to request those records. The second major thing is follow their request to a T. Only send precisely what they've asked but send everything that they've asked. And so they typically give you a date range. You wanna send that date range. Now, if they ask for a date range along with the examination date, you also then wanna include that additional examination date as well. Uh, but only send the information that they've requested. Um, and uh, again, this is not something to lose sleep over. They're risk adjustment audits uh, and not audits of you uh, as the provider and your records. Hopefully this information helps you out. We'll catch you next week.